three core skill sets you need to master as a construction project manager to take your career to the next level. Let me show you what they are and how to master them. Construction management, like any job, is simply a set of skills. The quicker you can identify what these skills are and then how to master them, the quicker you're going to get ahead. When I started my career, I felt absolutely overwhelmed. As a graduate engineer, I was working with supervisors who had 25 years of experience just in earthworks. They knew absolutely everything and I barely understood what excavation was. But I soon realized those 25 years of experience, I simply boiled down to a set of skills. Skills that I could learn and so can you. They know how to stage the works to avoid non-productive time and they understand what to look out for to avoid quality control issues and defects. Now, they obviously know a lot more than that, but when you start to break it down, you can see that these are all skills that you can learn. They're all bits of information that you can obtain. Experience is just another word for skills and the quicker you believe this, the quicker you can start working on filling in the gaps of your knowledge and identifying what you don't know and making a plan to learn it. So in this video, I'm gonna be discussing the core construction management skills. We're gonna talk about what they are, why they matter, but also how to learn them. So the construction management skills can be broken down into three key categories. We've got project management skills, we've got technical skills, and we've got soft skills. Construction project management skills, your ability to plan, organize, and oversee a construction project from start to finish. The purpose of these skills is to complete the project scope without harm, so without causing any damage to people, equipment, the environment, to finish the project scope on time, so to get it done before the planned finish date, to do so under budget without spending too much money, and to the required quality standards. Fundamentally, project management skills are being able to understand the tools and processes used in construction project management to achieve these objectives for a project. These project management skills then fit under the different knowledge areas, the different categories of skills. So we've got cost management, procurement and contracts, scheduling, design management, risk management, and quality control and assurance. Under each of these knowledge areas, we've got the different sub-skills and processes. For example, cost management would break down into estimating, so calculating how much something is gonna to cost to build, developing a budget, so turning this estimate into a cost plan to deliver the works, and then cost control. Once we actually come to build the project, how do we track, monitor, and control costs so we ensure we're not spending too much money? Why did project management skills matter? Well, fundamentally, they're the tools we use to ensure we get the work done in line with the project outcomes. Without these project management skills, we've got no way to control time, cost, and quality, the fundamentals of project management. So unlike technical electrical engineering or civil engineering concepts, project management skills are largely common sense on steroids. However, because they're common sense on steroids, it means they're not common sense. Most of the concepts you'll hear when you're learning about project management will intuitively make sense. They'll be pretty easy and simple to understand. They're just coordination and management skills. What's difficult about them the challenge with project management skills is that the application is difficult. So you can understand, or I can explain quite simply what construction cost control is, but applying this in practice on a construction project requires a lot of experience, patience, dedication, teamwork, but also technical understanding. It's hard to set up a cost control, cost tracking system for earthworks without an understanding of earthworks. So you'll find the application of your project management skills rely heavily on your technical understanding of the subject matter. So how do you learn project management skills? Well, you learn the fundamentals through a course, through a training program like this one, and then you apply them perfectly on real world projects. So why do I use the term perfectly? Because when you're first learning something, you need to apply the process exactly as it's stated in the theory. You then learn what does and doesn't matter and then when you're more experienced you can cut corners 
but always start with following the process perfectly, whether that's something you've learned through a course or whether that's the way your company does things or the process set out in your company. Learn what does work and doesn't work, but understand the reason why these are so. And then when you're more experienced, you can cut corners. Let's use an example of cost tracking. So you'll learn when you're starting out that you need to track every single docket in a cost tracker. Why do you need to track every single docket? Because you need lead indicators. You want to know when you're spending more than your budget to have completed a certain amount of work, because then you'll be able to forecast for that package of works, whether you're going to go over budget. It's also going to encourage awareness of expenditure throughout the team. It's going to help with supplier invoicing and payment. It's going to help with logistics and material management, and it's going to help for data for future estimates. Once you understand all the reasons why you're doing a certain activity, like cost tracking and tracking every docket, you can then improve the system with which you do it. You can understand which corners you can cut, where you can make exemptions to the process. So project management skills to summarize, it's learning how to deliver a project successfully. It's essential to achieving the project objectives. It's intuitive. It's common sense on steroids. So when someone explains you a concept, it's not going to be difficult for you to understand why you do it and what it is. The challenge is in the practical application of these concepts. So how do you implement cost tracking on site in practice? And how way you learn this is you learn the theory and then you apply it perfectly. The next set of skills we're going to talk about are technical skills. So technical skills is understanding what you're building and how to build it. It's the domain you apply the project management skills to. So technical skills, I'd break down into three core subsections. So we've got our engineering skills. So these are the fundamentals of civil engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering. We've got our construction technical understanding. So this is an understanding of the materials and methods used to deliver construction works. And then we've got an understanding of the tools we use to do this. So this would be things like being able to read engineering drawings, understanding building information modeling, or the specific software tools we use to do it. Okay, so if we're talking about building a bridge, let me explain three categories of technical skills. So we've got our engineering skills. So this would be an understanding of civil and structural engineering. And for example, how do concrete structures work? What's concrete? What's steel reinforcement? So these are the engineering fundamentals. We then got an understanding of the construction methods used to build the bridge. So for example, building the concrete piers or the precast deck construction. So it's an understanding of the materials and methods we use to do that. And then we need to understand specific tools we use to do this. So we've got an understanding of building information modeling and also engineering drawings. Now let me show you an example of where we combine project management and technical skills. So you can see how these skills stack together and how they heavily rely on each other. So for example, when we're building the bridge, we've got an option to use a precast deck or an in-situ deck construction. We've got both technical considerations and project management considerations that heavily relate to each other. For example, the technical considerations, we'd have to understand what does in situ mean versus what does precast mean? How does it work? What are the materials, the methods, the staging? How would we do this? How would we build it? From this, we can start to understand the project management considerations. Which option is going to take longer? What's the impact on the schedule? Which option is going to cost more? Which option do we need client and design approval for? And how do we get this approval? So those are the project management processes that relate to this question, but they rely on the technical understanding. So how do you develop these technical skills? Well, in my experience, the best way to do this has been to spend time on site, to stand there watching something get built. And hopefully you're standing next to that supervisor with 25 years of experience and you're asking them a thousand questions. We want to understand absolutely everything in detail. Why are things done the way they're done? That is by and far the best way to learn technical skills, to ask questions and to watch things get built. The other way you can do it is through engineering degrees in courses. Now, they'll explain the fundamental concepts, the fundamental technical concepts. They'll explain how to read drawings, but you're always going to be missing the piece of how do things get built in practice, which in my experience, is the hardest part to understand. You can also use ChatGPT and AI. ChatGPT is incredibly good at helping you understand technical concepts. 
And then the final way is just to work through problems, to get involved in different discussions and problems, and just to ask questions from more experienced people. Okay, so, so far we've discussed project management skills and technical skills, but what's the missing piece? Well, all project management problems have one thing in common, and that's people. Project managers spend 90% of their time communicating. And while this seems exaggerated, when you think about all the individual project management processes, like preparing a budget, creating a schedule, preparing an RFI, you'll see that a lot of the tools, a lot of what's produced by this process are forms of communication. The budget explains and communicates the financial position of the project to management. The schedule communicates to the project team when everything is going to happen and RFI communicates to the designers how we want to change the design and what we're seeking approval for. Technical and project management skills allow you to solve problems in isolation, but until you can master the soft skills to communicate, negotiate, and present these different points of views, you're always going to be limited in your career progression. Okay, so let's start out by defining soft skills. So soft skills are interpersonal and behavior abilities that influence how individuals interact, communicate, and work with each other. The core soft skills you're going to need to master are communication, so clear and concise expression of ideas, leadership, inspiring and guiding people towards goals, problem solving, identifying issues and implementing effective solutions, time management, organizing and prioritizing tasks to meet deadlines, emotional intelligence, understanding and managing emotions in oneself and others, teamwork, collaborating effectively with diverse groups, adaptability, flexibility in responding to different circumstances and conflict resolution. So navigating and resolving disagreements constructively. The biggest misconception out there with how you develop these skills is that you are born with them. And even if it were true, it's a bad belief to have because it gives you no power in how to prove them. However, the research does show that people who make a dedicated effort can improve on these skills. So, for example, communication improves with deliberate practice. For example, if you take public speaking lessons and do practice public speaking, you become a better public speaker. Emotional intelligence can be enhanced with self-awareness techniques. So there's research and evidence to prove that improving your soft skills is possible with deliberate practice. So how do you develop these skills? Well, you need to identify your areas of weakness. You need to take courses, learn the theory. You need to then deliberately practice putting in place what you've learned in the theory, find real life applications, but then also get feedback of where you've failed and where you can improve on and continually iterate through this process. Okay, so going back to our example of the bridge construction, what do we get when we combine project management skills with technical skills and now soft skills? We get the ability to convince the client and the project team that the precast method is the preferred solution. We can communicate our ideas, we can present them, and then we can negotiate achieving the optimal outcome for the project. Okay, so what I want to leave you with is that construction management is simply a set of skills. You don't need 25 years of experience. You need to identify where your weaknesses are, learn the theory, and then deliberately practice and continually improve on it. The three sets of skills we spoke about were project management skills, technical skills, and soft skills. Question now to ask yourself is what are you missing and where do you need to improve?